You've been looking for that new 2.7 twin turbo out of the uh, Ford Ranger? Well, guess what? It's finally on the build and price website, and it's a little tricky to get to, so you're going to want to follow along on this one. If you're new to my channel, my name is David Boyd. I'm an auto journalist, and I have a passion for mid-sized trucks. I have a mid-sized truck show here on the channel that we uh, I do with other journalists, and I just I like this segment. It's my favorite segment to take off-road, and, well, I think, they're, I think they're the cat's meow. So let's go ahead and bring this thing up here. This is your 2024 Ford Ranger, and if you're uh, new to my channel, I actually have the Ranger Raptor in the driveway that we're using as a long-term tester, and uh, I think it's pretty uh, it's pretty rad. <laughs> I'll say the thing is uh, pretty boss. So let's get into this. We're going to build our own, and I'm going to look to the XLT because I think that's where you get the most bang for your buck as far as I think we can add some features to it and still stay you know fairly uh, fairly affordable. As you can see here, the 4x2 starts at $36,110. Uh, or the 4x4 starts at $39,595. Now, I will say this. If you want a four-wheel drive, but you're trying to figure out the price of the V6, you've got to go 4x2, and I'm going to show you why here. Because after we select our paint color, it's an option. And if you go straight to 4x4, for some reason, in Ford's goofy website, it's not an option. But out of all the colors here, I go through this every time. You know, there's the classics where... Um, the, the whites or the uh, the silvers and, and the grays and stuff. But I'm going for azure gray. It is an upcharge for uh, almost $1,000, but this color in person, there's a lot of sparkle to it. It's not a flat paint like the the digital reference here shows. It's very sparkly, and I think it's a it's a fun color. So that's where I'm going to be. And right here, as you can see, we have two engine options. If you went to four-wheel drive, guess what? You only have the 2.3. It's just a glitch in Ford's website, and it wouldn't be a launch without Ford having a glitch in their website. So... As you can see right here, we'll bring this up. It is available with the XLT and Lariat. Of course, the Ranger Raptor gets the 3.0. I have this engine in our Bronco now. It does crank out 15 more horsepower, but I think the Bronco is a heavier vehicle, so I think it balances out very well. But 315 horsepower in this thing, and I believe uh, 400 foot-pounds of torque, which those are full-size truck numbers. It's ridiculous, right? That's crazy, but is what it is. So we're going to go ahead down here and select four-wheel drive. As you can see, it's going to it wants to add some features. Basically, it's um, the same thing, four by four, other than four by two. So three thousand four hundred and eighty-five dollars. You might be going, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a lot for engine. It's not because that's also included the price of the four by four. So uh, just so you know, so you were going to click yes, click it, and now you can see it switched over here. We got the bigger engine in there, and we're good to go. And we have the four-wheel drive system that I always want in a pickup truck. I always want the most capable vehicle and I think having four-wheel drive it may ding your miles per gallon maybe by a mile per gallon but trust me if you ever need that feature having it is uh is where you want to be now electronic rear differential now this is a big one to me because I love the fact that Ford offers this on any trim that you can get a rear locking with like brands like Nissan you have to go to their Pro 4X version you can't you can't just order what you want and I think these are these are ways Ford's been looking at to bring some of the features that the F150 has where you can kind of add certain features to uh, your truck without having to be pushed into a full package I think it's a good way for them doing that and for $420 it's a no-brainer, but I'm not going to click it there because there's a package down below that I'm going to add that's going to bring it bring it into there. Now we have some equipment groups. The standard equipment group going to give you a lot of a lot of nice features. Now you're getting a manual rear glass in this. You're going to get the 400 watts in cab uh, power inverter, which is pretty nice. Uh, LED tail lamps, which they do look very nice. But I want to look at the high equipment group. So for $945, we're going to get a 10-way power driver seat that included power lumbar, 8-way front passenger seats included power lumbar, heated seats, which is a must for me anymore. The older I get, my back's like, I love the heated seats, so I always want that. And that is going to bump up the uh, sliding glass in the back to a powered. Now, it's, you can see it's a little hole back there, but it is nice. I've monkeyed with it on our uh, our Raptor, and it's pretty nice. Works pretty well. You're going to get that 12-inch display in the center sack and dual-zone electronic climate control, which Kelly likes the temperature a different way. She generally wants the truck a little hotter than I do. So uh, that is definitely whoever's in the passenger seat, if they want to customize their temperature just a little bit. I like that. Now, I wish we could do that in the uh, the house I'm in, but we can't. So I, I can do it in my truck, and both of us can be happy. Technology package, what is included with that? So we're going to get Adaptive Cruise, which I, I give or take on that. My Raptor has it. I'm, I'm like, eh, it's okay. And you uh, can't get the advanced towing package with that. So that might be something you want because if we look down here, there is the advanced towing package for $825, which I think this is a bargain for what you're getting. So you're going to get the trailer tow package with trailer brake controllers built right into the dash. 
and the uh, backup assist, which I haven't got to monkey too much with yet on my Raptor, but I like the fact that I can I can put it in that, use the, uh, the, the center knob down there, like basically like a game controller. You're watching your screen. You can back your truck up, turn it with the knob. Works perfect. I think that's a no-brainer. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click Add out here. So advanced towing package for eight hundred twenty-five dollars. Which, once again, some of these features you might you might want, but maybe not need. We could probably get into the advanced towing and, and get all the safety features that I I don't know that I need. I don't need the truck basically to drive for me. I'm I'm okay driving on my own. There are a few that uh, I think are well worth it. Now, as I told you about the rear locker a minute ago, I knew because I knew I was going to get the FX4 package here, but let's go ahead and bring this up. So FX4 is available in the XLT and Lariat models, requires obviously four-wheel drive because it is a uh, it is a four-wheel drive vehicle, but running boards are going to be black, chrome when you uh, select the chrome appearance package, which no, thank you. The 80s, I, I lived through the 80s and liked all the chrome stuff back then, but I'm kind of over it now. So what it's going to include with the FX4, we're going to get the decals on the side. You get a 17 inch wheel or it looks like an off optional 18 inch wheel uh it's not real clear on that but we are going to get that electronic differential which i think is definitely a must especially if you plan on doing any kind of exploring out in the west uh you never know you might get into a little bit where you need a little extra traction or here on the east coast uh it's very nice when we're going off-roading at places like Windrock park definitely uh very nice and once again it's uh when brands like nissan you have to be forced into their top tier to get a rear locker i think it's cool that uh ford makes that optional across the board which is really nice we're going to get an exposed steel uh bash plate engine and transfer case so you're getting some protection now factory skids aren't always the best but you know what's better than not having any having some so part of the package there is uh that's pretty nice we're going to get the off-road screen in the center stack off-road tune shocks so you're getting just a little bit better shock setup for the uh you know the truck selectable drive mode so we're going to get mud ruts and sand once again i think that's uh any kind of crawl control features like that are very nice you can see here we're going to get the optional equipment is the 17 inch uh, tires with the chrome pier you know not available with chrome appearance package so let's click out of this and for twelve hundred and ninety five dollars thirteen hundred dollars yes all day long, I think I want that. Now, we are going to get part of, the, you know, part of uh, having a truck is towing. You want to tow with these things, right? And, you know, it already comes with the hitch, as you can tell there. So, it does include the trailer tow package, which gives you uh, some nice features. You can see it right there. You know, put your trailer on your boat, whatever you're going to do. You're going to get the four and seven pin, which used to be only the big trucks got that. But it is included in our package. Now, wheels, you know, this is what we're getting here. The gray, you can see them right here. Let's see if we can bring up a better picture of them there. That looks real. Those are very nice. I like those. I will tell you, I'd probably beat the crap out of them when I go off-roading in the thing. But it is what it is. I love uh, Ford's, Ford's uh, how they're committed to the bald tire syndrome here. So they don't really show you what brand of tires you're going to get. And mostly that's because sometimes they change who the distributor of tires they're using. So I get that, but uh, I do wish they would... Uh, Kind of, kind of show it a little bit better. What next up is the side view power folding seats, which was included because I believe that was part of our package we chose upstairs there. So we're going to get the black skull capped on the mirrors. Those are power folding mirrors, by the way, which I don't live in a city, so I don't generally need my mirrors to, to kind of fold in. But if you do, I think that's pretty cool that uh, you can get that. And it is included in, in part of our package. Now, two options here for bed liners. So there is the drop-in or the uh, spray-in. And if you look at the price difference, it's not even close. Not even close. I want the spray-in bed liner every time because I just like that it's done in the factory. If you're ordering the vehicle, trust me, it's only going to delay it about a week more. So I think it's well worth it. And it's basically what's going to happen if you do it aftermarket anyways. You're going to have to take and drop it off somewhere. Let them have it for three to four days. And there and you're out of a vehicle. So you might as well just let's get it all out of the way from the get go. So for four hundred and ninety five dollars, one hundred percent. Tonneau cover, this is one of those things you might you might look at and see if they have a picture of it. I think this is a nice, nice deal right here, the way they have it, the folding out one, you can push it in, slide it out and stuff. And if you plan on using this truck for like a daily that you only need to do truck things every so often, I think that's a good way to go. And uh twenty two hundred dollars on that one's not too bad. You may look aftermarket you know this is a new truck so i know it's a little slow for some of the aftermarket to have some stuff but maybe something you get your truck for in a month or so down the road you look and maybe aftermarket's cheaper if you need that from the factory i think it's pretty cool that you can get it does include the inverter and back which is nice now the interior of this thing we uh we're gonna get black ebony i don't even want to look at the the sand color because it's not it wouldn't be an option for me and I'm scared, honestly, that it's going to take me out of the package, so I don't want to mess with that. Uh, manual air conditioning single zones. Oh, no. So I thought we had the dual. Dual was selected. So let's see. It removes our, our manual air conditioning. 
removes our manual sliding. Add high. I must have, uh, maybe I didn't, let's go ahead and click that because I thought I already clicked the high package, but if not, I probably forgot about it and so we'll do it that way. So yes, now we have the high package. Now, one thing I will say that I love is the uh, the tray style, less carpeted matching formats, 100%. You might see them pop in here in just a second. They're rubber, they're molded to the vehicle. They're much like what WeatherTech had been doing for the past 25 years. You get them from the factory for $160. You're never going to notice that in your car payment. Trust me. So, yes, 100%. Or if you're leasing this thing, I know you'll never notice that. Radio type, we're going to get six-speaker system, as you can see here. And now we have a summary. $995 for our uh, fancy paint there, the Azure Gray. We uh, did add the engine option for $21.95, which uh, I believe is about $50 more than what Bronco is paying right now. So that means Bronco is probably about to get a uh, price increase on their 2.7 liter. Four-wheel drive system was no charge there, electric. Uh, diff was no charge because we got the uh, the package, the FX4 package. So some of our big things items here were the uh, high package for $945, advanced towing for $825, and the FX4 package, which you could take off and just do the rear locker and I think save yourself a little bit of money, but I, I kind of like some of the features that we're getting with that. Sport appearance package, no uh, cost, and trailer, no cost, as you can see here. Uh, bed liner was another big add-on for $495. And past that, floor liners, and uh, that's it. So we started out around $39,595. We added $6,910 worth of options. My first car wasn't even close to that price in just options. Uh, destination charge is $1,595. So total MSRP is $48,100. Now, if you were to price that versus, say, the uh, the TRD off-road right now, I think this is a way better deal. So I think uh, the quality of Ford is going to be up there with Toyota right now. I really do, and especially for the price difference. When the, uh, I'm telling you, the T the TRD off-road is going to be about $50,000, $54,000, something like that. So you're saving a bunch of money right there. And I'm curious, what do you think? Where are you, where are you at with this vehicle? Because I think that is a, uh, I think that's a good looking vehicle. I think there's a lot you could do to it. And I think there's a lot that you can do to it with aftermarket because it is, remember, this is the brother to uh, the Ford Bronco. So some things are going to translate. So there you go. So whether it be two wheel drive, four wheel drive, this badass XLT, I do want to drive, even though I have a Raptor. It's weird. I don't know. I'm crazy. It's been your all-terrain nation. I'm your host, David Boyd, and we're out. Peace, everybody. Love y'all.